Are you familiar with the TV series that redefined justice in the 80 seconds? The Equalizer is a show that embodies the essence of a modern-day vigilante, featuring Robert McCall, a former intelligence agent turned vigilante for hire, offering his skills to those in desperate need. This crime drama captivated audiences with its compelling storyline and the enigmatic performance of Edward Woodward as McCall. What made this series stand out were its gritty themes and complex characters, all set against the backdrop of a morally ambiguous world. The Equalizer addressed societal issues and ethical dilemmas, challenging viewers to question the blurred lines between right and wrong. Have you ever found yourself deeply impacted by a particular moment or scene from The Equalizer? Perhaps it left you contemplating the concept of justice or inspired you in unexpected ways. Share your thoughts with us. We're eager to hear your stories and experiences related to this iconic series. Edward Woodward's portrayal of McCall in The Equalizer, a character who retired from a U.S. spy agency due to disillusionment, marked a shift from his previous role as a spy, an assassin in the popular British TV series Callan from 67 to 72. His performance earned him consecutive Emmy nominations for Outstanding Lead Actor in a Drama Series for each year of the show's run, even though it aired for four seasons spanning 85 to 89. His nominations extended into 1990 for the 89 minus 90 season due to the final two episodes airing in August 89, showcasing Woodward's enduring impact in the role. Melissa Leo's guest appearance in an episode later led to her co-starring in the 2014 theatrical adaptation alongside Denzel Washington. This evolution of characters and actors highlights the enduring legacy of The Equalizer, showcasing its influence both during and after its original airing. Edward Woodward, renowned for his portrayal of Robert McCall, encountered a health setback in 87, prompting swift changes in the series. Robert Mitchum stepped in as a friend aiding McCall's son, while Richard Jordan joined as embittered ex-operative Harley Gage, sticking around for eight more episodes. Decades later, Denzel Washington took on McCall's mantle in the film adaptation. Even Arnold Schwarzenegger counts as a fan of the series, showcasing its lasting impact. The show's evolution and enduring admiration underscore its influence beyond its original run. Edward Woodward, renowned for his role as Robert McCall, underwent a subtle yet impactful shift in accent from the pilot episode to the series. Initially portraying McCall with a soft American accent, Woodward eventually settled into his natural English accent as the show progressed. This change didn't deter his exceptional performance, which earned him a Golden Globe in 1987 for his outstanding portrayal of McCall. Notably, his talent drew admiration from unexpected quarters, with Arnold Schwarzenegger expressing his fandom for the series, despite Woodward's known disapproval of the action movie genre. These intriguing aspects of Woodward's performance and the series' unexpected fanbase highlight the depth and influence of the show, showcasing its impact on viewers and peers alike. Robert McCall's character in the 1985 TV series displayed intriguing subtleties, that added depth to the show. Despite McCall's obvious English accent, his nationality was rarely explicitly acknowledged. He drove a Jaguar, spoke with an English accent, but the topic of his British background remained largely unaddressed. Interestingly, McCall's phone number, 212-555-4200, became a memorable detail for fans. This deliberate omission of nationality created a mystique around McCall, enhancing the enigma of his character. Moreover, McCall's choice of weaponry further defined his character. Armed with a .380 Walther PPK-S and occasionally wielding a Desert Eagle Mark I, McCall's proficiency with these weapons contributed to the intense and action-packed moments in the series. The meticulous attention to detail in selecting McCall's arsenal underscored the strategic and calculated nature of the character. These subtle yet deliberate choices in character portrayal from nationality to weaponry, added layers of complexity to Robert McCall. The series, with its enigmatic protagonist, left an indelible mark on viewers, fostering a lasting legacy that transcended its original run. The Equalizer's ability to captivate audiences through nuanced storytelling and character intricacies showcases its enduring influence on the television landscape. In a pivotal season one episode titled Desperately, Edward Woodward, in the role of Robert McCall, encounters an unexpected slip. 
During the intense final scenes, as McCall tries to get the attention of hired gunman Jeffrey Dryden, portrayed by Ray Sharkey, Woodward accidentally shouts out the actor's real first name, exclaiming Ray, instead of the character's name. This unedited mistake adds a unique and genuine moment to the episode, showcasing the authenticity of the show's production. Interestingly, the show's musical composition adds another layer of intrigue. Stuart Copeland, the score composer for The Equalizer, comes from a notable background. He is the son of a well-known CIA employee. This connection between the show's soundtrack and a family linked to the intelligence community adds an unexpected dimension to the behind-the-scenes elements of The Equalizer. In the casting realm, it's noteworthy that Martin Shaw, renowned for his role in the British series The Professionals, declined the opportunity to portray Robert McCall in The Equalizer. This decision, although divergent, led to Edward Woodward stepping into the role and leaving an indelible mark on the series. These subtle anecdotes from accidental onset moments to familial ties and casting choices provide a glimpse into the intriguing facets that contributed to the making of The Equalizer, showcasing the series' depth and complexity beyond its on-screen narrative. The show's ability to weave these elements together underscores its enduring influence and captivating nature. In season one second, the Confirmation Day episode, McCall, portrayed by Edward Woodward, takes the wheel in a daring scene involving a stolen delivery truck and a mob boss. Woodward's skillful driving adds authenticity to the moment when the truck's rear tire grazes the guardrail, showcasing his hands-on approach to the role. This commitment to realism was a hallmark of the series, reflecting the dedication of the cast and crew in bringing McCall's character to life. As the equalizer, McCall's mission is clear, to help those victimized by New York City's dangerous criminals. The series delves into McCall's quest for redemption after a shadowy past as an intelligence agent. His black Jaguar, bearing the New York license plate 5809AUJ, becomes a symbolic companion as he navigates the gritty urban landscape in pursuit of justice. Beyond the scripted moments, the series had its share of unscripted surprises. In Desperately, a pivotal episode, an accidental slip by Woodward adds a genuine touch to the intense final scenes, emphasizing the show's commitment to raw and authentic storytelling. The behind-the-scenes anecdotes, like Stuart Copeland's connection to the CIA, further enrich the narrative, providing a glimpse into the intricate layers that shaped the Equalizer. From McCall's tactical weapon choices to the show's intricate storytelling, the Equalizer's impact extends beyond its on-screen presence. Whether it's Woodward's evolution in accent or the unexpected choices in character portrayal, the series weaves a captivating tapestry that transcends its original run. The Confirmation Day's truck scene, driven by Woodward himself, exemplifies the series' commitment to delivering genuine and immersive experiences, making The Equalizer a timeless classic in the realm of television. As we draw the curtain on our journey through the labyrinth of The Equalizer's enigmatic world, take a moment to reflect on the threads that tie you to this remarkable tale. Like a clandestine operative navigating the shadows, this series transcends its temporal confines, leaving an indelible mark on the tapestry of storytelling. As you traverse the corridors of memory, delve into the recesses of your own narrative. Perhaps it's the gritty resonance of justice prevailing or the melodic harmony of complexity and redemption. The Equalizer resonates not only as a gripping narrative, but as a mirror reflecting the intricate dance between our own battles and the relentless pursuit of equilibrium. Did you find solace in McCall's stoic resolve, or did the ever-pulsating energy of the cityscape draw you in? Share your echoes from the past, your musings on the characters who became companions, and the moments etched into the fabric of your own life. In a world that often blurs the lines between right and wrong, the Equalizer serves as a guiding compass, reminding us that, beneath the veneer of chaos, there exists a delicate equilibrium waiting to be restored. As we bid adieu to this cinematic voyage, we invite you to spill the ink of your thoughts onto the parchment of discussion. Unleash your reflections and let the collective consciousness resonate with the myriad tales this series has inspired. Thank you for embarking on this journey with us, for letting the narrative unfold and intertwine with your own. Until the next rendezvous, fellow traveler, revel in the echoes of the equalizer that resonate within you.